Hi, I'm going to show you why I use another app instead of TikTok to edit my videos. Let's do it. TikTok is great, but it has its problems when it comes to editing. Let me show you what I mean. I went on a walk recently, took some videos with my phone's default camera, so let's use those files. So to get started with the editing, let's click the plus button on the bottom right here. Uh, something to keep in mind, if you're only uploading one file, like I'll do now, I'll click upload here, I'll choose a file that's 27 seconds right here, upload. By default, TikTok is not going to assign a song for this. It's not going to automatically cut this one video or trim it. And then you'll have to pick your own music for it. So that's the default when you upload one file. But let me show you if you upload two files. I'm going to select another one here. Okay, so there's two files. And I'm going to click Next. So look at that. It assigned a song to it. And it cut the video up. Let's click the adjust clip and see how long this is. It cut the first one to 6.8 seconds and the second one to 8.2 seconds. So it's giving you a 15 second song and it automatically cut your video to fit that. And possibly to somehow match the movement in the video with the highs and lows of the sound of the song. So there's that difference of uploading one file or uploading two or more files. So let me get out of here so I can choose the walking files. Quit and uncheck those. The files I'm going to use for my walking video are this. This one, this one, and this one. So that's about 47 seconds worth of video. I'm going to click next. So there you go. It already assigned a song and it cut up the video again. Adjust clip. So it cut it to 3 seconds three seconds and six seconds to fit that 15 second song. If you like the results, you can keep it and go next and upload it to TikTok. But the other way around this is if you don't like what they gave you, you press default here. Okay, so now in this default um, editor, you can select any of your videos here, the walking part, and you can trim it. Pause it, you can trim it, drag this left or right, or drag that there. If you want more control within TikTok to work with your video files, you can do it this way using what was called the default instead of the sound sync. My video is 23 seconds. Let me click next. So now we're in the main editor in TikTok. This is where you can select sounds, effects, text, and stickers. Let me point out something. If you upload videos that were taken on your camera's phone, you're going to be limited with your effects here. I'm going to click effects here and effects again over here. We're only given about six effects. While if we took a live video using the TikTok uh, camera, then we'd get a whole lot more, like maybe over 30 effects available. There is a limitation. Keep that in mind when you just upload straight from your camera versus using the TikTok application to do live videos inside of it. Here's one of my main problems with dealing with the TikTok editor. Once you're in here, it just keeps looping. It just keeps playing and looping. I can't pause it. I can pause it in other places here, but Right now, I can't pause it in this main editor view. I can't rewind and I can't fast forward. I can't jump into another part of the timeline quickly. So that's one of my main problems, which is why I use another external editor to edit my videos when it needs more of that control. Then the other major editing problem is when you add a text or a sticker it's applied throughout the timeline, then you can adjust it. And then when you adjust it, you'll see what happens. Let's add a text. Just call it walking. Give it a background. Done. Let's move it up to the left. Okay, so right now that walking text is shown throughout the timeline. 
but I don't want to show it throughout the timeline. So I'm going to click it. It's clickable because it's visible. Set duration. And now I can adjust this text to only a certain part of the timeline. So I'm going to put it only in the beginning. I'm going to OK that with the check. So my problem is now that it's gone, it's gone into the other section of the timeline. I can't select that text um, component or that object. So now I have to wait. I can't back up. I can't forward. I have to wait for the full video to cycle through again until I can see it and then I can select it. Now it's showing. Now I can select it, set duration. I can only do that when it's visible. So this is a main problem when things are pretty short. If your text or your stickers only last for a couple seconds, it's a pain, especially if your entire vi video is close to one minute. You're going to have to wait one whole minute to get back to selecting that text to edit it. In the other external video editor, you don't have to wait. You can just pause it and jump to that section where the text is. So that is my main problem. And it works the same way with stickers. If I throw in a sticker, uh, a heart, select that. This repeating looping heart, um, sort of a GIF animation, will just keep going because it's set for throughout the entire timeline by default. If I click on it, it's still selectable. I can set the duration to somewhere in the middle and I'll just accept that. If I wanted to edit that heart right now, I can't because I can't see it. I can't select it. You can only edit what you can see. Here it goes. There it is. Now I can click on it. Now I can set the duration, readjust the duration right now. So that's a major problem for me when dealing with stickers and text and placing it around and not having full control having to wait for the video to loop again till I can click it. So that's my main problems with editing in TikTok. I'm actually going to end this video here and show you the better editing software or softwares in a succeeding video because there's more than one software that does it better than TikTok. Check the description section below for the link to the part two or check the end screen. You can also subscribe to the channel and press the notification all so you won't miss that video when I upload it. Thanks. Please.